This is my 2010 Mac Pro with dual CPUs and 96GB of RAM. It runs Mojave from an NVMe SSD over PCIe and has a RX 580 installed. Yeah, I think we got it for the wrong foot. Let's start over. I ain't had a wink since last. With the help of video proc, you can see it has no hardware acceleration for the 580. Off white kicks in a all black rover. Live your life, all I'm living through is mine. My range ain't a rover yet, but fuck it, man, it drives. I'm glad I never. Let's jump in Final Cut Pro. Get a job. I'd rather put the mic inside a fuck. We will export this 11 minute video in H.264 and take the time. Losing faith in people, Once we are done, we'll, we'll install Open Core and do it again. Let the dream go, yeah. Oh, work, you know how the feedback gets. What a week, second guessing people, second guessing me. Seven sessions, second guessing, put that album on repeat. A lot of beats, a lot of tweaks, a lot of shit I should release. In the east, when it frees. It took 14 minutes and 21 seconds. As you can see, Open Core activated Radeon Boost. Now we check again for hardware acceleration with video props. Don't forget to refresh. It's easy faded, but it's hard sober. One day you look up in the raw, no where yeah. With hardware acceleration on, let's get back in Final Cut Pro and export the same 11 minute video using H.264 and once again take the time. Will we see any improvement? The GPU usage does look a lot higher than without the hardware acceleration. But what difference will we see in our export time? With hardware acceleration it took 12 minutes and 9 seconds. With open core you get a 15% improvement in export times in Final Cut Pro. Not bad. With all the other benefits of open core, like boot screen, is definitely worth it.